future we have to think more um, in a merged way. So uh, right now we are still separated. So we have the um, AI colleagues and we have the blockchain colleagues. And blockchain is really a new field for Deutsche Telekom. The whole idea with blockchain is we have a technology now that lets everybody share the same sets of data, which inherently gives you trust. If we all agree to the data that is input into a ledger system, a distributed ledger system, which blockchain is one of, then we all get to trust the same sets of data. I think trust is uh, as important in the subject field of AI as it is with every business operation. So I, th I don't think that anything changes with the um, application of artificial intelligence. We have to be more transparent to gain this trust and we have to work on that in the next, let's say, five years. Yeah? And to convince the people that AI is not a hard thing, it could be a supporter and enabler for our um, daily, let's say, business or daily work. I think the key place where they intersect is where the data needs to be trusted that you're going to act on with, with the robots, really, you know, with the machine learning, with the artificial intelligence. If you don't trust the data, uh, you know, how far are you going to get if you're using artificial intelligence? We have a lot of potential in artificial intelligence and Jens Riedemann said it very clearly, so it's more about machine learning. So we already have that, we already are there and we, we need to really develop that working on data. And, and for the blockchain, I really liked what Alexandra said, that she said we need clear quality of data and really work on the data. I would say from a top topic perspective, there are differences between blockchain and AI, but there are also common points where blockchain and AI can interact together and build something big. 50% of our requests is just to know the status of the customer. So in that field we could deliver um, more automated answers and that is one of our um, AI related use cases. I would actually continue on the trend of artificial intelligence blockchain, but I would throw in a very solid use case in the middle. I think uh, the Internet of Things for telecom is the most important domain for us to focus on because it is where the next wave of massive revenue will come from. I was really amazed about all the speakers. They were excellent keynotes. Both keynotes were very good. I really liked the battles and I was impressed about all the questions, the interaction with the audience. Keep going, keep going, because as I said, I liked it a lot, the format, the interactive sessions and so on. You shouldn't change that because in, in soccer you always say never change a winning team. And I think it was a great winning team today and you should keep going that.